I met and worked with David and learned parkour and learned the essence of the sport from David. And so that's the legacy. It's not like the biggest jumps I did. It's, it's just what I did wasn't impressive. As one of the most precious moments for you when you were doing those activities as a parkour athlete, what did you cherish or what, what, which one comes to the, the forefront of your mind as the most incredible thing that you pulled off and you're most proud of? Was there a certain, you know, time of your life that you, you just said, Hey, you know, no one's done this before, but I, you know, I just really want to be able to pull this off or, or you know, or there's something that you remember as one, one of the ones that could really, Hey, I did this. And, you know, I know that, you know, you roll out of it, you know, like you say, if it doesn't land quite right, but you know, what's the most biggest takeaway in your experience doing parkour that you really want to hold, you know, and cherish. And you, you wanted to say, you know, to somebody that you, takeaway is, is, is the most incredible opportunity. I mean, most incredible thing that you did for yourself while you were doing that. You know, it, it, there's not a great answer because I don't, I don't think I did anything incredible or anything. Yeah. Really. Like, I think the biggest jump I ever did was a 12 foot, a 12 foot jump, which I thought was huge at the time. And you know, it's no, it's no walk in the park to do a 12 foot jump. It's just, you know, a, a jump to land and roll from 12 feet. Yeah. But you know, it's like, if you gave me a student who was ambitious and, you know, like reasonably, I don't know, like give me like a 20 year old who's reasonably ambitious. It's like, we'll get him there and maybe we'll get him there in a year. Just a year of training, we'll get him there. So it wasn't even that, that high of a level. I think, I think when I was a young tracer, 2006, 2007, 2008, I didn't have a lot of exposure to the rest of the parkour world. And it was hard to get exposure because it was new. There wasn't a lot of people doing it. The biggest community was in England. I was in the United States. It was hard to make YouTube videos at the time because the quality and the technology lagged. And so I thought that what I was doing was really high level stuff. And looking back, it, it wasn't high level stuff. And so I think that there was probably a lot of hubris in me of thinking that I was better than I was. And in time, as I've widened my scope and realized how good people are at this sport, I realized how insignificant I was from an athletic standpoint. And, and some of that too is the evolution of the sport. And this happens in all the action sports is the next generation comes along and they're so much better than the previous generation that, I mean, your legacy is that you were the first to do something, but you know, it's not impressive. You know, if you're the first to do a, a 720 on a skateboard, it's like, that was amazing. And now people do 900s or 1280 or whatever they do, you know, and it's just like, it's just, you know, there's a 14 year old that's, that's doing seven twenties. And so you at the height of the X games was, you know, or did it, you know, whatever, it's just not impressive anymore. So the legacy is more like you were a pioneer or you were first. And so my legacy is, as I started the world's first parkour clothing company, right? I developed one of the first ever parkour shoes. I started one of the first parkour gyms in the world. Like I pioneered that, you know, like I, I met and worked with David and learned parkour and learned the essence of the sport from David. And so that's the legacy. It's not like the biggest jumps I did. It's, it's just what I did wasn't impressive. But what is impressive, I think, is is the is having the vision of of kind of pushing the boundaries of the industry and pushing that ahead. And then for me, I think the thing I'm most I'm most proud of or most thankful for was working with David. So David was was my idol. Was no question like the person in the world that I wanted to to learn from more than anybody else. If you had said like, you have everybody, like you have Brad Pitt and you have um, Michael Jordan and you have David Bell and you like, if you listed of like all the greats and Eminem or whatever it may be, whatever sport, whatever practice, it was like, David's the guy. David's the, you know, in 2010, 2011, he's the guy that, that I resonate with most. And so for me, the, the most kind of special moments were, were that friendship that we had for a few years and being a part of his family and learning from him and understanding him. Because I think that a lot of this stuff is trivial. Like 99% of the athletes won't be remembered in 10 years. You know, they'll be on to the next generation. What do you have? And But David's the one who will last. He was the person we'll talk about in 100 years. And so for me, it was the chance to work and learn from him and to understand his mentality, to understand what parkour was from his eyes. Not the parkour you see from store or the parkour you see from take flight, but the original method, the, the spark that ignited this industry, that ignited this movement and the sport. Like to understand that at the deepest level, like there's, there's no other American that's learned parkour from David Bell. Like there's, I can count on two hands, the number of people that have been as close to David and learned parkour from David as I have in history. And so to me, it's, it's that legacy that I see like a direct passage of the discipline down through me. It's 
that I'm most proud of. And then in terms of my skill or whatever it may be, it's like, like, just don't even watch it. Like, you know, it's just not important. I just didn't get to the level I wanted to be, but there's something else that I think that's stronger in there. That's, that's more, that has more longevity than a big jump I did once. So, sure. Sure. And had, no, no I, I appreciate that. And that, that really, really is well spoken. And now you have the ability, you have the opportunity to pass on that legacy from him yeah. off to the younger generation. I mean, this is phenomenal. I love it. 